Hello and welcome. In this lecture, I will give you an overview of the technical communication course. Technical communication is essentially messages related to science, engineering or technology. So, they may be in various forms. It could be written like in articles in uh, papers, articles in journals, project reports, Wikipedia. You have used Wikipedia very often, have not you? Have you ever tried to contribute one? Hopefully, by the end of this course, you should be able to be in a position to contribute to a Wikipedia article. It could be blogs. It could be graphic material like in the labels or user guides which tell you how to use or how to uh, assemble a particular thing. It could be posters. Oral is another important form of technical communication where you simply chat with your friend or chat with somebody who is in a, another department or it could be a classroom lecture or a seminar or an interview. And finally, video recordings, video recordings like this, lectures, tutorials or procedures like your YouTube of how to do certain things. Now, the main purpose of uh, scientific or technical communication is for others to know and to reproduce. Know because they want to make use of the knowledge that you provide elsewhere. They want to understand something. They want to do something else with the knowledge that you provide. Or it could be simply reproducing something that you show them. You could show them to uh, assemble a particular equipment or you could show them how to use a software. Technical communication is language or culture independent. It is based on universal principles. Did you think that uh, this course is going to be one on uh, English language? No, you did not? That is good. So, it is not. Technical communication in this course is not about English language. Although we will be using English language as a medium, if you understand the concepts that are being presented here, you should be able to use these concepts in any language you are comfortable with. Let us give a look at a broad overview of the contents of this course. The core of this course is in the scientific method. The scientific method forms the backbone or the skeleton of technical communication. It is this principle that tells us what to communicate and why you need to communicate in a particular way. Ethics of communication is complementary to the scientific method. It says mostly what not to communicate. Scientific method, what to communicate. Ethics, what not to communicate. So, we will be telling you something about ethics. Then comes listening and reading. Listening and reading are the first forms of te technical communication that we are used to. So, when we begin to attend lectures or when we read books or papers, we are consumers of technical information. And then comes writing and presentation. When we write or present something, we already become creators of this information. We have carried out a project we have done a procedure and we want to explain or tell the world what we have done. So, from consumers which is listening and reading to creators which is writing and presentation. So, this whole gamut forms the basic backbone of what is going to be taught in this course. With presentation, we also have some soft skills which is on self-awareness, about interviews and group discussions. This course will have different ways of assessing what you have learnt. We will have quick self-assessments which are mainly done online, which are simple recollection of 
terms or facts. Terms and facts which are exposed to you in this video will be asked through a simple self assessment quiz or it could be a little more complex than that you need to understand what is being told which is essentially means that you relate what is being told to something else that you know before or something else that has been told in this lecture. So, these are quick self assessments. We will also have detailed home assignments. These are long subjective activity and since it is being long, it's, it needs to be evaluated by a person and here in this course, you will be the person who is submitting it and the other people who are participants of this course will evaluate it. You will get an opportunity to evaluate others work. So, this helps in identifying common mistakes and pitfalls. When you read many other assignments submitted by others, you will know how to improve your own presentation by looking at this several presentations. We will also have tutorials, which are essentially instructed guided activity. So, this could be either conducted in a classroom or by a flipped classroom. Thank you for listening.